Second issue that we'll be happy to take questions. There's the quick news, but there's been some uh, media attention concerning the high levels of levels of uh, strontium found in the fish in the Connecticut River, and as you all know by now, uh, for the first time in Vermont's testing, there was actually strontium found in the flesh of the fish, not just the bones, but the flesh, which of course is ingested by humans when after fishing. Uh, just a couple of comments about that. <coughs> I am asking Energy Louisiana to do the following in response to the testing that was undertaken recently. As you probably know, uh, we tested 13 fish, nine of them tested positive for strontium, and one of them was actually in the flesh of the fish, which is a new development for Vermont. A few things that I think ensuring that Vermont protects its environment, its natural resources, its fish, its rivers, and its people. Uh, the first is, some time ago, I asked Energy Louisiana to, to drill two additional pumping wells to extract as much of the radioactive water from the ground as possible and burn it. The reason that's so important is that after the meat court leaks, was discovered that the land where the plant was built was compressed. It was added to in order to build on a larger lot of land way back in the 1940 years ago. The result of that compaction has resulted in the radiated water not being able to escape to the river as might have happened in other locations. So it's incredibly important as that radiated water hits bedrock that we pump it from the ground to solve, help solve an environmental problem. So right now, uh, Energy Louisiana is running two test wells. They're pumping from those wells. As you may recall, they shut them down for a short time last December. I urged them to reopen them and pump through the winter. They did. But we feel it's very important that we add two additional wells and continue pumping the water that has radioactive isotopes in it from Vermont's soils as quickly as they know how. Second, I've asked uh, my department to move from a schedule for testing fish of monthly to weekly and to increase the number of fish that we test Those two actions will be taken. We obviously have concerns about the fact that there is staunchium in our fish in Vermont. It's low levels. We don't know exactly where it came from. But in light of the leaks that have happened at the plant, it makes sense for us to be vigilant in trying to figure out the source of this contamination. And we will. Take it away, King. So you're not um, saying that it came from the plant? We don't know where it came from, and that's the challenge. All we know is that uh, we've never before uh, tested fish in Vermont where we've got strontium in the flesh of the fish. It has been in the bones. We know that, but not in the flesh, the part that's consumed by humans. It is low levels, but I just want to remind you that strontium is not something that you want Strontium, when it gets into the human body, or frankly the body of the fish, or any other living organism, uh, heads to the bones and has proven to cause cancer and leukemia in particularly young, growing organisms like children. So it's not something that we want in the long We don't know where it's coming from. We're going to try to figure that out, but obviously uh, we want to do everything we can to protect our natural your concern primarily is related to health on this? Well, it's, it's, you know, obviously, it's, it's health and environment. And, you know, uh, we don't want fish in our rivers that uh, have strontium or any other nuclear isotopes. Would it make 
sense to test the fish uh, outside of this watershed and use that uh, as, a, as some sort of comparison? Because for my Yankee saying, uh, you know, we've, there's strontium everywhere because of the nuclear bomb testing. But if you got it from a from a different place, like Lake Champlain or the Winooski River, and then compared it to there, and if those results were different, wouldn't that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Like more accurate reading as to we're certainly going to do that. Sort of that's part of the plan. The other thing I'm asking that you Louisiana to do once again is to test the cobweb that uh, tested positive. around the state so that we can draw a comparison. Second, we're asking to drill a two new test wells and pump as much of the radiated water out of the ground as we possibly can. And third, we're asking them again to test the cobweb uh, so that we can have some measure of how we're doing there. If the concern is, is the concern to a level where you would um, consider sense would suggest to me that I just assume not fish in that particular spot. But scientifically, I believe that the Commissioner of Health would tell you that I probably don't have anything to fear, but I'll let him answer that question. <coughs> so what I'm trying to say is that 90 is, it's everywhere. So it's background radiation. I can absolutely assure you that we all have some of it in our boats, everyone in this group. So it's not like anything particularly new. Side. And the background is, but it is man-made background, so it's not natural radiation. It comes from um, nuclear plants and, and nuclear bombs. So what we, um, at the levels are barely detectable. Uh, they certainly are not anywhere near the levels of, of concern in terms of health. Uh, but the mere fact that they're there is a concern to me um, uh, as health commissioner uh, and to make sure that nothing changes with that to try to ascertain where the source uh, of digital strontium is possible. And it may end up that it comes from background. We'll, we'll certainly be reassured by that, meaning everywhere is what's, what we're exposed to every day. Um, uh, and in terms of the level of fish, I personally would eat the fish, so we differ on that. <laughs> but of course, here you have a fish down here. <laughs> what, about the message you just, what about the message you just sent to people who are going to come up here and buy a fishing license and they want to fish the southern part of the Connecticut River in Vermont? I'm just being honest with you. My job is to tell you what I do with what I'm not doing. You ask me a question. You ask me would I go fishing by a aging nuclear power plant that is leaking nuclear substances into the river. The answer is no, I wouldn't. Harry, uh, how long will it take for you to, to know where it's coming from? I, I think um, it really depends on the results, of the results of all the different testing. So if we test further upstream, beyond some dams, if we should test, as John suggested, in, the, uh, in Lake Champlain, all that information together will be able to um, uh, give us more certainty. It's, it's, because there's no smoking gun, I don't think we're ever find a smoking gun. It's going to be hard to do anything more than uh, give it a good opinion. But we don't even have the information. To put, give it so you might opinion. not ever know. Is we that might. right? But, but, we'll, we'll, but we're certainly going to uh, do, do our best to try to figure it out. Uh, but
but also, uh, more importantly, to make sure that the, the levels aren't increasing and don't present a danger to the public health. What's the turnaround on the testing of the fish? Um, uh, between measuring the fish and testing the fish. It's a very sophisticated testing. I don't know the turnaround, but it's certainly not a, a quick turnaround. So there's no particular marker of strontium from nuclear bombs versus strontium from atomic power plants. That, that, that strontium is strontium. That's the challenge here. Uh, bottom line is, uh, in 1971, in New York, they found strontium in the flesh of fish. I don't believe that we have found strontium in the flesh of fish in the testing form that we know of. Had we been so, testing fish regularly before the treatment? We've been testing for 18 months. So yeah. In terms of the fish, we, we this is such a highly specialized test that we actually have to send it out to a lab. We found a, a, a reliable lab, and so we're, we're, we're assuming that we'll be able to proceed in a pretty expeditious fashion with these samples. So was the Lee Champlain testing or somewhere like that on the agenda before he said that? Or did that no, just no. join the agenda a few minutes ago? The commissioner had mentioned to me that they were going to test around the plant and test other parts of Vermont. Right. So it wasn't Lake Champlain specifically. Right. But right. obviously, Forget it would be good. We could go to Bradford, for instance, we'll we'll just on the Connecticut River. It make, only makes sense to test you know, somewhere just in the plant to, to, to make the, to help you decide if this is background or is it related. Governor, uh, and I, and I just want to mention one thing that I, I read in the press that um, I think is worth mentioning. I saw that uh, actually Louisiana's response to this was uh, that we've never tested strontium. We've never found strontium in the web test wells. substance. Yes, we have not found it in the ground wells, but Energy Louisiana admitted that there, they did find strontium in the leaked substance from the plant. So to suggest that strontium has never been found at Vermont Yankee as a result of the leaks there is not accurate. Um, well, yesterday, uh, Bill Irwin of the Radiological Division of the Health Department uh, also confirmed that they had never found strontium in groundwater around Vermont Yankee. That's right. Um, and no, you I, said... I'm just saying, if they did, you know, can you imagine? I mean, right. I hope they never find it. But you said yesterday that uh, this news about the fish was another example of Entergy putting their shareholders' profits above the welfare of Vermonters. And then today you said, we don't know exactly where it came from. So I'm a little confused well, about sure. your idea of the source of this radiation. You're asking about the fish talking about Malik, in my judgment, Ministry of Louisiana does a great job of protecting their shareholders and ensuring that they're profitable. They're less diligent about protecting Vermont. I've asked them to pump the contaminated nuclear water that's sitting in the ground under the plant that they leave there after claiming that the pipes didn't exist. That seems like an unrelated issue based on what you said today that you don't know where the radiation came from and then... Well, I know where the radiation came from. The radiation came from a leak in the aging nuclear power plant in Vermont. The radiation found in the, in the fish? No, the radiation Because we're sitting on the bedrock in Vernon, Vermont. But the I release the you issued yesterday was about the fish specifically. The news about the fish with strontium and its edible portions. And then you named Entergy as putting their shareholders' profits above welfare of Vermonters. So I'm kind of confused about the connection between the fish and energy. The connection is simply this, that uh, we had found fish that had strontium in them within nine miles of the plant. We also know that the plant's been leaking. So one of the possibilities is that there is a direct correlation between the fish and the leak. We don't know that. Do know is that Engine Louisiana has not invested the dollars, in my judgment, that they should have in removing the contaminated nuclear water that's sitting under the plant that now leaked almost two years ago. And we don't know how long it's been leaking. So I'm asking them to be a little less diligent in protecting their shareholders, be 
more aggressive in protecting the lines. So you're not stating a direct connection between energy Louisiana and the strontium found in the flesh of the fish, yes, or reported on July 26th? I think I've been clear on that. We don't know where it's Okay. 